Brutusly Made. Happy Friday. I am so super excited because I have my first guest on the program today, and she is a dear, sweet friend that I have got to know um, through a creative endeavor. So I'm going to share all about that. Um, but a little housekeeping, we are doodling today, and we are going to follow Elo Lovey's prompts again, and it is a playing card. So that is the prompt for today, and I'm excited to draw something fun, and I know my lovely guest, Kari Greyhoff, is with me today. Hello, Kari. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. This is so fun. I know it's very Mm -hmm. fun. This is um, exciting because Kari and I met through uh, the windowsill chat studio um, shared sessions. That was a mastermind that we both signed up for with Margot Tanto. So Kari, I want to um, have you share a little bit about your creative history and um, what led you to sign up for that class. Well, let's see. I studied graphic design in college. And uh, when I got out, there weren't a lot of great jobs. Um, And so I ended up going to work for, at the time, what was a little startup. Um, I went to work for Starbucks. And I was basically um, just do anything that they told me to do. But I did all the store signage and I did marketing and helped with all that kind of stuff. And, but I've always been creative. My family's super creative. My mother has always done everything from scratch. And so uh, a couple of years ago, long story short, I got out of the corporate world and decided I wanted to get back into being creative and drawing and painting and all that good stuff. And so in the spring of last year, I did uh, Bonnie Christine's um, immersion and learned Adobe and uh, have started doing pattern design and which I love because one of my favorite jobs in my career was managing textiles for a retailer. And so um, having a lot of fun with that, um, but still learning and growing and trying to figure it out. Yeah. And I'm going to just preface this entire conversation that Kari is super, super humble, but unbelievably talented her (laughs) sketchbooks and her studio is just fabulous and we are going to share uh social media that she has and images of things that she's created and you're going to be blown away because um kari's based in kansas city and this conversation is going to surround how do you get your artwork and your creative endeavors out into your community. And I've been doing that a lot here. And so the more that we talked between one another, that topic just kept coming up. And so that's what our conversation is going to be around today because Kari's work needs to be in your home. Like she said, with the textiles and the wallpaper. (laughs) And it it is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. Again, she is so humble, but it is just fabulous. And so I love that this is what you want to talk about, Kari, because I want to see all of your work in in everybody's homes, not just in your area, but all over. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's, you know, I moved to Kansas City uh, just almost six years ago for work. And I think everybody knows when you're working full time, it's it's sometimes hard to meet yeah. um, people outside your sphere. And then the pandemic hit, you know, and we all know what that did in terms of connection and community. And so this is a topic... It, Tracy, you're so inspiring because I just, I'm so blown away by the impact you have on your community and the connections you've made. And so um, to have this conversation just means so much to me. Um, So thank you. Oh, thanks. And it's so funny because Kari, the more we talk and learn about like what we've done, our paths have been down the same way. Like I took Bonnie's class too. I was in the immersion program and I just loved that. And I wanted to do more with surface pattern design. And I've been on Spoonflower for like 11 years. And that was my first like jump into it, not knowing like how to do it, just really just tackling it on my own. So it was great to have that guidance. And then we got to personally meet at Art Biz Jam because I went and it was in Kansas City. And that was so much fun. We had such a blast. Yeah, that was fun. (laughs) 
Oh gosh. And I love that that's in your community because then you got to visit a manufacturer and get a little insight on what they're doing and how they work with artists. And you've already had that in your like back pocket. Like you said, you've worked with different product development and things like that. So I love that you're kind of like kind of reined this in and coming into the community. And I think the first thing you have to do is identify those people or organizations or businesses. And so how have you started that in in your location? Have you got to reach out to anybody? Yeah, you know, a couple of years ago, um, when I was really feeling the tug to get back to kind of my painting, drawing, creative roots, um, before I quit working, and um, I reached out to a couple artists here in Kansas City, um, again, through Margot's um, windowsill chats, uh, one of them was interviewed. And so I was like, oh, she's in Kansas City, I'm going to call her. And, um, and so I called them and we got together and we met, but you know, it's again, it's people are so busy and they have their lives and they have their connections. And so I have found it challenging to kind of keep that going, but through art biz jam, you know, I've met other artists. Um, but you know, so you, again, you inspired me. So I signed up for two artist groups here, one based on the Kansas side. I don't know if, if it, if people don't know, Kansas city is split down the middle by state line road. So half of it kind of is in Missouri and half of it is in Kansas. So, um, I signed up for two artist groups, coalitions, if what, yeah, that have community events and classes. And so I'm super excited, um, about that. I signed up for a free photographing your artwork class nice. um, through one of them, which is something that baffles me, um, you know, learning the technology. Cause you know, when I went to college, we didn't have all this stuff. Oh, I know I'm right there with you. <laughs> Everything was hand lettered and hand cut out with the exacto blade. I'm really good at that. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm starting. It's just, um, making those connections and trying to go to their events and things like that and um, continuing to try and meet other artists here in the area. Yeah. And I think that Kansas City, when I visited, seemed like a very art progressive location. Mm-hmm. And there, I mean, we, I made you go to the library because oh, I, like, I saw that. I didn't even, I mean, this is, this, this, this is me. I'm terrible. I didn't even know that library was there. That was so fun. So fun. Oh, no. Because yeah. it was all books that I had seen it on social media. Day. I'm like, I have yeah. to go. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. I just, and, and that's what's so neat is if you kind of step back and take a look at your community as a tourist through tourist eyes yeah, that's a good... and get to explore those locations, those organizations love when you bring your enthusiasm and your passion to them. And then that generates other people's interest because you're not the only one that doesn't know that that was there, you know? And so that awareness is huge. And I think being involved with like a local chamber or other small business community events that you can bring your art into a different way to create awareness in your community are great ways. I love the art organizations and the collaborations that the artists have, but also thinking outside of the box and and mm-hmm. attending farmers markets or maybe attending yeah. um my daughter has the best results going to these PTO craft shows she PTO. sells like one thousand to three thousand dollars worth of pottery at these school craft shows can you believe oh. that yeah she'll create things and take them to these like small yeah. communities craft shows. this is Seattle this is Seattle yeah. Seattle's yeah. huge but they're always looking for artists to sell things. And down to that little niche, I was blown away when she told me that. Yeah. And so, yeah, sure. you know, looking at those kind of little markets just to get holiday your name out. Exact, oh, yeah. holiday markets are huge. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's, yeah, you're, you're going down the right direction, getting yeah. involved with those collaborations. But also I know that your pieces, the ones that we have looked through in your lookbooks and your sketchbooks are perfect for the building industry with those decorators and anybody that has showrooms with beautiful fabrics, custom 
when you can create custom pieces for a homeowner, getting involved with like a BIA, a building industry association, oh, yeah. and then yeah. your interior designers and yeah. things like that. Again, thinking outside of that box and talking to them directly because your pieces yeah. are just beautiful for that. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. I have thought about, you know, talking to individual designers and coming up with kind of a schedule of how you, you know, the services, yeah. you know, to offer and stuff like that. So yeah. And local, local community, we've got such a great little neighborhood here and kind of a busy community. And so I have not, um, I have not reached out to them. So that, that is a good one too, to get it on my list to reach out and see if they have any um, anything going on. I'm sure they do. There's always something going on. Yeah. Yeah. And especially if you have a rotary, I mean, I know we have a couple of those around here too. Yeah. They sound yeah. old fashioned, but they're still oh, there, you yeah. know, they're yeah. still vibrant and yeah. part community of the business groups. community. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Those are great ideas. And I know that's what the, that you're thinking about. It's hard as an artist, you're creating, but then you have to market yourself. And then you have to reach out. I mean, it's like you're this yeah. one woman show. It's a lot of work. It really is. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, trying to keep it all going. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I work full time and that's really hard. I, mean, I can't wait to one day yeah. uh, do this full time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. We're here. Uh, that. That's you the goal. <laughs> So it's funny because I went to an art class this weekend. It was a hand lettering class and she's a photographer and she has a studio. And then the, I guess, ebb and flow of her studio sessions, she holds classes with all different artists. And this is wonderful. So if you can find a location to host like community meetings or workshops and share your knowledge that's huge. People want to learn. I know I love learning. Yeah. I love to continuously yeah, learn something. I feel like I I don't know that I can teach though, because I feel like I I'm just I'm I'm not sure I'm a teacher. Well, start here. with one of those artists that you spoke with, bring yeah. them in and create a studio atmosphere. I mean, you have a beautiful studio. So if your husband's open and your family's open and to let you, you know, do that, you could do that there. Or you could find a spot. Yeah, my husband will do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very blessed. <laughs> but you could have a whole slew of classes and to have yeah. visiting artists come and learn their processes and how they're doing uh, it. Yeah. That's yeah. what helps generate those ideas. And then you're going to say, oh, well, maybe I can show somebody how to create something for a, a card. Just start with cards or yeah. start with something. You know, Okay. Kari, you shared your gifts for your grands and your family at oh. Christmas. <laughs> they were beautiful. If yeah. you had a class on how to make that memory game, people would eat that up. Yeah, that was that was a fun little that was a fun little thing to make yeah. for him. So yeah, but there is a market for that. People yeah, that's a would good idea. love that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I once I did um for my team at work, I we had a cookie decorating party um during the holidays. That was our holiday party. I baked a bunch of cookies and everybody decorated cookies. So that was kind of fun. I love that. <laughs> and I know we've talked about looking yeah, at nonprofits so. in the area. And I know that you said that you and your family are part of some or interested in joining some nonprofits. And so getting some art together for maybe they're having a fundraiser or an auction. I've done that. I usually try to pick two to four a year and support. And that's been huge because yeah. I love yeah. being able to participate and I feel like I'm giving back with my time and talent. And then yeah. I actually have had, you know, commissions after that. And yeah. I Love Finally. that idea. We have um my husband and I support a local um nonprofit that supports foster kids in our area. Mm -hmm. And so um I got all excited when after you and I kind of chatted and got all excited about oh, I could do a call for artists and a call for submissions, and we could have a garden party in our backyard and hang all the art in the porch. And <laughs> there you go. That oh my gosh, that would be phenomenal. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They would love yeah. that. They would probably flip out if they heard you'd want to do that for them. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I love to entertain. I love to cook. You know, at one point in time, my daughter and I had a, 
a little business together, um, doing gourmet food. And so I love to, you know, to put things like that together and make people feel welcome. And so what, what better than to add art to that? Right. So. No, that's perfect. See, you've already got like this whole skeleton built around yeah, I just that. Fit that in my, how I'm my, my schedule and trying to launch my wow. business and do that. So again, I'm going to follow your, um, your hours and be up at five in the morning. Oh. And <laughs> I know. I don't want you falling over time, but you know what? You get used to it after a while. You got yeah, I got you these, do. like bursts of energy. I'm just like, oh, yeah. I can work in these quiet moments when nobody else is like it's bothering best. me and talking to me. That is the best. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Just stay hydrated. That's that's my lesson here. Stay hydrated. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And we're gonna have to sneak a little plug in for your daughter Kat's beautiful TikTok because oh. talk about an amazing cook and she is an RN and just I had to follow her as soon as we met and she's phenomenal yeah. too. So you do have such a talented family and oh, just love it. Thank you. <laughs> oh gosh. So I love that you're looking at building a network that is in your community and varying the kinds of creative contacts. I think that it helps diversify yeah. your, you know, avenues of like where your art can fit in. And you have that experience and that knowledge of putting it towards marketing and putting it towards a business or putting it towards, you know, helping. And I think that that is really important to share. So as you're building your, um, maybe your website or your portfolio online, showing this is how it applies to you. And this is how I can help you by being creative. And it could be a homeowner. It can be a business. It could be um, a real estate agent. It could be uh -huh. a, a interior designer. Think again, thinking outside of, I just want to sell this painting I made. Because right. I think artists get stuck in that. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I, when I was, I was in my studio yesterday and kind of, it was a down day for me. And I just was trying to be quiet and creating and, um, and I was do, working on something and I had to keep reminding myself that there are no right and wrongs, right? In yeah. art. Right. And, um, and that there's, there's a place for everything. And, you know, we all suffer that like, oh, my stuff's not good enough to put out there. Uh, Tracy, you know, that oh. I am not very good at or very consistent at sharing on Instagram. So if anybody goes to my Instagram, there's not very much there, um, but I'm working on it. But my site is um, has some of my work on it. Um, but it's trying to continue that and and um, and to share and create connections. Um, you know what they say: to have a friend, you have to be a friend, and that's yeah. you know it just takes it takes a lot of energy. And I think you are a role model for that, how you are so supportive of other artists that, I mean, me and, you know, our friend Brenda, and oh. just, you're always there to say, you know, oh, this is fabulous or do this. Or I, I, um, if everybody doesn't know Tracy's a computer whiz too. So <laughs> I'm like, uh, text you help. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Those answers. <laughs> I swear. No, Kari, you work with both sides of your brain too. She's helping me with spreadsheets and how to organize my store and like what to do with wholesale. Um, and trust me, it, this is what, right? oh my gosh, it has just been a fabulous collaboration and group that we were in for this mastermind and just how everybody helps everyone. And you're just making my heart burst. I just love you. You're so sweet. I, I just have never had this kind of collaboration with artists ever before. I've tried for 23 years to break into this community and yeah. I've supported people downtown and the little galleries and it just takes time and it don't does. beat yourself yeah. up over the consistency of social media. Don't let that be a deterrent. Yeah. Don't be like, yeah. I haven't posted in a month and I feel crazy putting this on here. Do it. Who cares? I know. <laughs> I to figure out to figure out how to continue to do it. So yeah, it's a lot of work. It, Again, it's a lot of it's a lot of work to do that. And you know, as you said, as as artists who work for ourselves, 
um, it, you know, even if it's not monetized yet, it, it's, it's still so much effort yeah. to get out in front and make those connections because like you, a lot of people I know, and some of the artists that I have met here, they they hold down full-time jobs, right. Yeah. And they have families and they have community commitments. And so I know how it feels to like, sometimes you're like, I just can't add one more thing to my schedule, you know? Um, yeah. I, I was talking to a friend the other day and she had friends in town and she's like, I'm so tired. I just, I can't, I can't, they're in town. They're all, over, but should I go? I'm so tired, you know? And, and I get that. I know how that feels. And so yeah. I think you're right. Just being consistent and um, trying to reach out to different groups and people and showing up. Yeah. Yeah. It is hard. And, but I think your talent of organization if you take that and build out a three month, six month, nine month, 12 month view of these are a little bit of my goals yeah. and these are people I want to talk to. And this is, you know, maybe you want to concentrate on different industries in those little segments, breaking it down. I do that a lot. I write down a lot of things and try yeah. to make a plan. And that's, you know, I love being spontaneous with my art, but with the whole side of trying to keep the connections, I have to document it. I have yeah. to have checklists yeah. and things like that. And you're very yeah, good at that, Kari. <laughs> you're I'm so good. I am a list maker. Yes, I do. Too. And it takes somebody's other eyes looking at something going, oh, I didn't look at it like that. And you've helped yeah. me do that. And that's something that we don't apply to our art or creative side sometimes, right. but it does help. Yeah. And yeah. and We're like you said, you get all those ideas going in your head and like, I've got to organize this. And so I know that kind of goes towards like doing something on a regular basis and, and the idea that you'd like to host that nonprofit and, you know, contacting different organizations. I think that doing it around seasons or doing them around maybe themes, I'm sure your community has things that are going on that have different, I guess, initiatives. So taking a look, a broader look at that in your community and working around yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good idea. Yeah. Different schools and stuff too, maybe. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to look into the craft local craft show thing. Yeah. yeah, we have an organization here called 720 Market and they're curated juried show, not juried, but curated shows. Yeah. So there's not a lot of repetition and there's yeah. there's not a lot of um like everything's pretty much handmade, but it's so much fun and they're held in different places. Yeah. And so that's something I, you know, I wish I knew Kansas City better to say like, contact this person. I don't, I don't have those connections, but I know yeah. that, you know, once you start looking in that yeah. arena, I'm sure you'll Yeah, those it. are good ideas of places to look. Yeah. yeah. And this podcast, and I mean, this is just one way that I could think of talking to people like you, celebrating people I'm meeting and really just getting some of these thoughts out of my head that I know I'm not the only one that's dealing with them or have them, the imposter syndrome that you were talking about. That was a podcast episode. I mean, we are all dealing with it. And I just, I have felt so alone for so long thinking this is just me right. and I'm realizing it's not. So that's yeah. what this was for. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it is so um, helpful when you realize that you're not alone, yeah. um, that others feel this way. And, you know, just you saying that it took you so long to break into your community, you know, again, you know, full-time job and family. And, you know, I know you're relatively new to Canton, right? Yeah. I mean, I've been here 23 years, Gary. Oh, yeah. Years. Yeah. I was thinking but, it was shorter than that, but still yeah. it takes, so yeah. So there you go. It takes mm -hmm. a while. I mean, cause I'm okay. the, I'm that person that you spoke about the full-time working artist. Yeah. 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 And then, you know, and then it doesn't help when, you, when you, when you're like, Oh, I, I can't, I'm not ready. That's me. I'm not ready to put it out there yet. I just need to, I just need to tweak it a little bit. more. I'm not ready to put it out there yet. Yeah. Um, so, and that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> it's that perfectionism that we have in the back of our minds that we've been taught or we've yeah. heard or we've learned yeah. and 
I deal with that too. And the older I get, the more I'm like, you know what, this is where I'm at and I'm going to share it. Sharing the processes of how you do something is fascinating to people. Mm -hmm. They want to see how you do stuff. And so start sharing. I mean, I, you don't even have to be on camera, just your hands. And it doesn't have to be like a half an hour video, 10 seconds of what you're doing or like, what ink you're using, what paint you're using, the pens that you're using, the paper that you're using. It helps others come out of their shell because they're just as scared. You're so right. Those are my favorite ones to watch, right? Oh, oh, I got to write down that, you know, that color of wash, Mm -hmm. you know, like, (laughs) yeah, I do that all the time. I have so many things saved on my Instagram because I know. Art supplies. Yeah. Like I need more art supplies, but and the same way though, I, I've, I joked in podcast episodes past that, like I wouldn't use gouache cause I didn't know how to say it. And I didn't want to go to the <laughs> store. And ask me. I mean, I did until I like learned, this is how you say this and this is what it does. And I mean, I put it on, I think a canvas once and it peeled right off. I'm like, what do you mean? This doesn't stick. What, what did I do wrong? I, you just need to share your processes so that people can learn from you. Yeah. 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 And having, I think, you know, it goes back to that opening up um, and being willing to be vulnerable and, you know, the whole Brene Brown syndrome. (laughs) Yeah. 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 I was reading a thing this morning, you know, somebody posted about Brene Brene Brown. Yeah. Yeah. If she hasn't empowered women in the last few years, I don't know who else. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I mean it because it does make you stop and think. And if it's not now, when are you going to do it? If it's not you, who is it going to be? There's no reason it can't be you. There's no reason why you shouldn't try to put your stuff out there. Yeah. Uh, You know, design your wallpaper, order some samples and let's see what it looks like and, and and put it on a wall. And this is how, um, you know, I can create this and just, it's not going to hurt a thing. You're trying just like everybody else is, but you're inspiring at the same time because you're being fearless. And I know you got that in you. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know why you're scared to share your stuff. It's gorgeous. There's no negativity that could deter you. And that's what you got to keep in the back of your mind. Well, yeah. And, you know, it's so funny because, like I said, when I was doing this, right, I was like, I was like, you know, there's no right or wrong in art. It's just art. So whatever comes out of you at that moment is what it is. Right. I I love when people were like, learn the rules and then break them. Why? Yeah. Create your own rule. It's right. it's your creativity. It doesn't right. matter, you know, if this is a not a parallel line that's perfectly straight that you didn't do on Procreate and hold the pen down so it snaps to straight. That's what makes it beautiful. The wonkiness and the hand, of the it. handness yeah. of it, you know? Yeah. 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 It's embracing that because I think we all see in our mind the way we want something to turn out. And if it doesn't turn out exactly like it, you had envisioned it, then it's mm-hmm. not good. That's right. where I go. it's not good. I'm it's the same way. To start over. And, or if it doesn't look like if, you know, if you're taking a class and it doesn't look like that um, instructors or other artists Gosh. style, then it's, then it, then you didn't do it right. But there's right. no, yeah. And that's, I mean, that's where I'm starting to come to. And that's why I love your attitude of, I'm just going to do it. Like, I don't care what people think. And, well, you know, you, you talk about Catherine with her TikTok. And I think I've told you this, it's like, you, you, you can't, you can't, you can't pay attention to the people that make negative, crazy comments. No, just can't. No. Cause there's going to be those people out there that just want to be heard for yeah. whatever reason. They're, and, they're not out there making it. Yeah. And so they'll, they're going to, there's going to be crazy negative comments and you just have to ignore those and you're not doing it to be liked. You're doing it because you have a passion for it. So I have to talk to myself all the time. Yeah. You're good at talking to other people and then you've got to start listening to yourself. I know. (laughs) And you've said that, you know, that that's true. (laughs) Yep. Oh my gosh. And it's hard. It's hard to be that for yourself. Cause I deal with the same things that I'm yeah. like trying to tell you. I'm like, oh, this isn't well, good enough, or this doesn't I, look exactly like this. It's that's it's- why I just cherish you because you're that mirror that says, hey, 
you pay to look, you're fine. You do this. So, um, yeah. So those, you know, those valuable friendships and connections are, are, are just, you know, priceless. Just, yeah. Totally priceless. So. Yeah. Yeah. And I just am just shocked about the paths that our lives take to find those. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 Definitely. And I know that you'll find that in your community. I know that once you start venturing out and making those connections and people realize your talent, it's going to speed up and come quickly. And I know you'll be prepared for it, but it gets overwhelming. Yeah. It does yeah. get to like, then they see that you're helping with a nonprofit and then you get bombarded with 10 requests yeah. and you're like, I can't do all of those or yeah. I have to say no. Yeah. And please say no. Do not overwhelm yourself. Do not get so, you know, buried where you're saying, and I'm very bad about that. And I'm here. I am telling you that because I'm learning. (laughs) It's hard. I've had to say no. I've sent, I, I, I had to say no a couple of times this year because there were quotes that I had put out for jobs two years ago. Mm. two and a half years ago yeah. and they're coming back to me now saying I want to do this and I'm like yeah. I can't do it for that price or I, right. I don't have time to do that because I said this would be done in a week and I have things now yeah. and you know I'm Smart. sorry you know so yeah. people are like start putting expiration dates on your quotes I'm like I guess I'm gonna have to I didn't think of that That's you know again idea. another yeah. learning thing that has happened organically because it just didn't even dawn on me that they would hold on to it and then come back and want to do it two years later yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's hard. And then they do, they come back and they want it like then they want to negotiate. <laughs> it's like Yeah. That's exactly what happened. I'm like, you know what? This is a sign. I don't want to do this. Right. Right. Well, and, good for and, you. Cause that that is hard. Yeah. To mm-hmm. to walk away. You know, my husband's in construction and he's had some, you know, um home owners want stuff. And, yes. and he talks to me about some of the things that, and I'm like, uh, walk away. <laughs> Say right. no. Yeah. Say no, thank you. Mm-hmm. Do this right now. Yeah. So you have to. That's another that's yeah. another hard lesson to learn, but yeah. another difficult thing to stand by. It's just good for your mental health, though. You yeah. really, you know, don't beat yourself up over it. And it's no, you have to you have to protect yourself. You have to protect your your mission and ethos and all of that. And yeah, right. you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. And but I know. And surround yourself with people that, you know, you can get true, you know, good feedback. Yeah. Like I could ask my mom how something looks and she'll, she'll tell me everything <laughs> looks great. That yeah. didn't help me. <laughs> you know, I love her to death, but she also will tell me it doesn't look exactly like it has to be photorealistic for it to oh. be approved. And oh. so I've learned my lesson. Like, okay, I can't because that just messes with me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So it's just like, okay, I, I just, I know you learn, you know, who you can go to. Right. So, right. right. Oh, Kari, this has been great. This has been All a great right. discussion. I hope this helps inspire other people. I do want you to share where people can find your work. So, okay. So Instagram or website yeah. handles and addresses. Uh, my Instagram is at Kari, K-A-R-I, Marie, M-A-R-I-E, design. Um, uh, and then same website, KariMarieDesign.com. Perfect. Yes. Yep. And I know that you will post when you feel ready. So no yes. pressure ever. Yes. <laughs> but and- yeah, start recording. I've got to help you. She can like help you do some of your process stuff because yeah. it is yeah. beautiful. I can't wait to share the card that you've uh, doodled because it yeah. is stunning. I, yeah. Had some fun with that prompt. So that's a good one. Yeah. No. Well, thank you for being my very first guest. Oh my yes. gosh. I didn't know you. I was your first. You are. You are. And all honor. the links uh, to your socials and your website will be on uh, the show notes. Oh, you're so, so sweet. but I am just so blessed to have met you through a windowsill chat studio sessions and got to meet you in person and hang out and had a blast. And I hope that happens again, because I just yeah. love you so much. You're wonderful. To plan a meetup. I know. I know we do. We have to. That's so okay. yeah. have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me too. And Bye. keep me informed on how those community connections are going. I will. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to share on social. Ha. Huh. Yes. <laughs> Okay.
All right. Take care. Take care. Bye.